What's up, this is Rockman. Today on Passport Case, we decided that Puerto Rico is ready for tourism again. Engage. I'm Rockland. I travel the globe making videos and recommending destinations. Join me so we can discover, preview, and book your next vacation. This is Passport Case. Welcome aboard abroad. Subscribe and enable notifications so you can see all the other videos you may like. Some may think that visiting Puerto Rico after Hurricane Maria is a bad move, but making your next trip to this U.S. territory will help with the rebuilding. Not to mention the average high is above 83 degrees Fahrenheit or 28 Celsius all year long. The recovery from Hurricane Maria has been slow, but two thirds of the electricity to the island has been restored. Tourism is one sector of the economy that can quickly bounce back, says Carla Campos, the acting executive director of the Puerto Rico Tourism Company. The most cosmopolitan place in the Caribbean, Puerto Rico is many destinations in one. You can spend your morning in the bustling urban San Juan and retreat to a quiet beach in the afternoon or stroll the cobblestone streets of Old San Juan, the oldest city under the U.S. flag, and admire its one-of-a-kind Spanish colonial architecture. The cuisine, which has roots in African and European cooking traditions, is excellent. So try monfungo, a Puerto Rican dish of deep-fried green plantains mashed together with other ingredients such as pork or seafood during your stay with a pina colada, or just enjoy a burger and fries. I mean, this is the U.S. Also, unique Corolla cuisine discover the Spanish, Taino, Indian, and African influences of Puerto Rico's native Coquina Corolla cuisine is served in many of its enticing restaurants. O San Juan, where I stayed, is a popular attraction as it dates back to the 1864. O San Juan is a beautiful place to walk and see Puerto Rican architecture in the 19th century. But don't worry, many restaurants and attractions dot this area, including a Senor Frog. Placita and Mezzanine at St. Germain are two places to start. But don't forget about El Unique National Rainforest. There is only one rainforest in the U.S. National Forest Service, and it is in Puerto Rico. El Unique encompasses 29,000 acres and is one of the most biologically diverse national forests. Catch up to the Koki tree frogs. Watch for the red-tailed hawk, Puerto Rican lizard cuckoo, gray kingbird, pearly-eyed thrasher, shiny cowbird, and the rarest of jewels, the Puerto Rican parrot. Puerto Rico is beautiful from the sun constantly shining on the beaches to the diverse cuisine to its awesome populace. Visit Puerto Rico to help the rebuilding and visit Puerto Rico for the experience. Puerto Rico has classic white sand beaches and rare bioluminescent bays, which is when the tiny single cell organism that lives in the bays are agitated. They then release energy in the form of light and they glow emitting an ethereal neon green aura of liquid light. They are best enjoyed when there is no other light to minimize the bioluminescence and that makes it unlike any other place on earth and you should come see why. Out of all the places that I went, there was only one store that still didn't have water running. It was actually a Subway's. When I realized they didn't have water running to fix the soda machines, I decided I didn't want to eat there because they didn't have water running for anything. Something like washing hands or doing dishes are mandatory if they want me to come eat in that place. Also, I ran through a little bit of the shanty towns. It was pretty peaceful, but I didn't go there in the middle of the night, so I'm not sure how the area would fare if it was really late. Overall, Puerto Rico is beautiful. 
One thing that really stood out to me in Puerto Rico is the prices at the supermarkets and the stores. They're really high. If Puerto Rico is in some type of deficit, I don't understand how the prices in stores could be so high for those people to be able to eat, but they are. Things like milk, bread, and beer were outrageous prices. It was almost like a little bit more than today's New York prices. Another thing that stood out is Puerto Rico reminds me of the late 70s to the early 80s of the Bronx, New York. I've never been to Puerto Rico before this time, but for some reason, it brought me a whole lot of nostalgia. From loud glaring Spanish music, to graffiti on the walls, to some abandoned buildings and people walking their pit bulls. So lastly, one of the best parts is there is no passports needed. Traveling to Puerto Rico could not be easier for US citizens. You don't need a passport or to convert your money, and English and Spanish are the official languages of the island. It's the perfect destination for a quick weekend getaway or a dreamy romantic honeymoon. Airfare to Puerto Rico is 30 to 50% less than to any other major Caribbean islands or destination, so it makes it the perfect island for any vacation. Recently, I made a countdown about the most beautiful women in the Caribbean, which islands they were from. A lot of people in the comments told me that I really did a disservice by not mentioning Puerto Rico. Actually, I did. Puerto Rico was in the honorable mentions. But from this visit to Puerto Rico, I can honestly tell you that they did deserve a better spot. Most women you run into, even the Uber driver I had, were top notch. It's a golfer's paradise in Puerto Rico, as the island offers 21 world-class golf courses designed by legendary golf designer, including Bruce, Bessie Jr., and George, and Tom Fazio. The courses offer amazing vistas and perfect playing weather year-round. The pros have taken notice, and for the last seven years, the island has hosted the PR Open, the only official PGA event in the Caribbean. Puerto Rico is a little rough around the edge, but for the beautiful beaches and destinations that you'll see here, it more than makes up for it. Besides, with most islands in the Caribbean, if you get too far off course, you'll find very rough areas. From my visit to Puerto Rico, I say you should get there as soon as possible. For the most part, the people are friendly and the beaches are beautiful. And for the simple fact that you don't need your passport, this makes an excellent destination for someone who's looking to go on a quick adventure. Season 5 of Passport Kings is brought to you by viewers like you who contribute to Passport Kings on Patreon. Being a member will get you exclusive content that can sometimes be considered too risque for my Rated G audience. You'll get behind the scenes content, you'll get half off the shirt of the month, and some of you will even get to select the topic of my next video. Plus, I'll put your name in a drawing for a free trip abroad that a winner will be picked every single month. So become a Patreon today and keep Passport Kings going strong. So at the end of the day, don't believe everything you read in the media because they always have some type of bias. Always come out and check it out for yourself like a king. Passport.